Hello, welcome back to the Keichu Shindo channel. Today we're going to be going over some hand and arm striking techniques. Okay, so number one, we're going to be going over Zuki, which is punch. Um, and we're going to be going over the, the standard punching technique in the fist, okay, that would be with the Seiken. Um, then the second uh, is going to be the uh, Heideken, which is going to be a forward knuckle punch, okay. So just to get started with the Seiken. So the Seiken is the fist. The Seiken is here. Uh, the first two knuckles, the largest knuckles. So we always do our best to impact the strike with this two knuckles. Because if you do impact down here, you have a greater possibility of getting what we call a boxer's Fracture. This is when you take one of these finger bones here on your fist, the back of your hand, and they snap or break or get fractured. That would be called a boxer's fracture. Okay, uh, so to the best of your ability, we always do punch as best as we can with this portion of the fist. Okay, and this is the Seiken. Okay, so as there is the standard. Zuki, and then there is the Choko Zuki, and the Choko Zuki is a thrusting punch. So standardly, the punch is just going to be here, right? That is the standard punch, Zuki, right? But if you do Choko Zuki, that is the punch with the shoulder extension. And when you're inputting your motion of your feet and your legs into your waist, moving through your torso with the extension of your shoulder and arm all together in one movement, you're increasing the power inside of your strike. So versus a very stationary strike with your body being still, virtually no movement at all, compared to you see this body movement here. And this body movement starts from the ground up. Your feet are going to be transitioning like this movement. Okay? And this is going to increase your power tenfold. Okay? So it only compared to striking with the power of your arm, you're putting the movement and weight of your body with your shoulder extension into the strike. So of course, you can basically throw a strike from any position, a parallel stance. You can do it from a front stance, Zenkutsu Dachi. You can do it from a horse stance, Kiba Dachi, or Shiko Dachi or Nahanchi Dachi, okay? As the punch, the Zuki is extended, the other fist rotates back to position. And as you extend, the chambered fist rotates forward and down into position while the extended fist goes back to the chambered position as they switch positions, okay? Notice, the exchanging of the movements and the rotation of the fist. And this little rotation at the end of the at the end of the punch gives you a little bit of snap, which also increases a little bit more power. Okay? It's also gonna give a different type of damage than just a solid straight form of damage versus a twisting damage. Okay? So from Zenkutsu Dachi front stance. We've got Zuki punch, stationary, and then you have the punch with the shoulder extension. So you're not just stopping here, you're extending the shoulder to give that much more power into your strike. Okay, now for number two, this is gonna be Heideken. So this is a forward knuckle punch. The palm of your hand is going to be face down. The thumb is going to be tucked into 
your hand and your knuckles are going to be pointed forward. So this is also a different type of damage compared to the Seiken, okay, compared to the Bazuki. So this would be considered a Heideken Uch, which would be a forward knuckle strike. They're not calling this a forward knuckle punch. They're actually calling this a forward knuckle strike. So you take those same concepts of the punch and you move them into this new hand position called the Heideken. And impacting with your front knuckles, once again, is going to give you a different type of damage compared to the fist. It's going to be a bit of a sharper damage, okay? But it's also going to be a blunt force damage because you're still impacting with your knuckles. Just not the top knuckles, the forward knuckles, okay? And you could strike without rotation or you could strike with rotation, okay? This is kind of a user's choice type of thing. Uh, very commonly in the Shaolin Kung Fu, they are not executing the rotation. They are just standardly striking straight with that direct line. So it's not coming from back and forward with the rotation. It's just coming straight or vertically straight without the rotation. But traditionally in Karate, they have the rotation. Okay, and this is Heideken, the forward knuckle strike. Okay, or known to some, uh, you know, other people that aren't in the martial arts, it would be a forward knuckle punch. Just, you know, for a more simple way to say it. But this would be actually considered a strike. So this would be Heideken hook. And you can put the standard motion in, no body movement, or you can put in the full body movement with the extension of the shoulder and complete, and that's gonna increase your power. So these are the two hand and arm strikes we're going over today. Um, there will be more videos coming soon of the hand and arm strikes. So today we did go over the Zuki, the position of the fist, Seiken, and then over Heideken, the forward knuckle strike, okay? Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.